I remember one time, fucking, I was hanging out with uh, with Lil Kanai, and uh, I went to his house and shit. In uh, same situation, but uh, like, um, I wasn't shackled to a bed. I, I fucking OD'd in this. I OD'd in my fucking in my 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 good friend, one of my partner's vans and shit. He let me he let me uh, hang out in his van and shit. I borrowed his van and I was mobbing around doing dirt in his van and shit while he was at work. And uh, I stopped over at Kanai's house to go 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 rap to him for a minute. And shit, and uh, I fucking had some, uh, I had some of those Oxyco Oxycontin pills and shit. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking do me a shot. Fuck this shit. So I, I heard you could shoot them up. So I was like, fuck it. I crushed them up, threw them in a Mickey's cap and fucking stirred them up real good and shit. And fucking poured a little bit of water in there and ground them up real good and got this like real pink, nasty paste. Threw some, threw some piece of cigarette filter in there to, to uh, use to act like a cotton. I sucked it up, bro, and I did a shot. Well, can I fucking, can I uh, went out to the to the van and shit, looking, he's like wondering where I was at. He said he opened up the door and he found me all slumped over with the fucking syringe sticking out of my toe. <laughs> and uh, he called the, he called the uh, ambulance for me and shit. And I woke up in DG and, uh, I got all these electrodes again, again stuck in me and shit, and uh, and uh, again I got the thing on my finger, I and mean, this time I got a fucking IV stuck in my arm. So I'm fucking, uh, I'm taking all these electrodes and shit off of me, dude, and it's funnier and shit. And I'm like in a hurry to try to get the fuck out of there, and uh, there's no cops around, or nothing, so I'm cool. I go and pull this IV out of my fucking arm, dude, and I didn't, I just yanked the fucker out. All of a sudden, there's fucking blood squirting all over the fucking room, bro. And like squirting all over the bed, squirting all over me, squirting all over the floor. And I'm trying to fucking do all this shit to get all gathered up all my shit. I'm slipping and sliding all over the floor. I take the thing off my fucking finger and I start running out of the fucking room and shit. And the nurse is like, hey, sir, sir, come back, sir, sir. And I was gone, dude. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're not catching me. I'm gone. I'm, I got blood squirting all over my arm and shit and squirting out of my arm and shit. I'm like, I better stop that somehow. I put pressure on my arm. I took off running. I mean, I, I was at DG. I ran all the way from, from DG. I ran all the way to uh, something like that. I ran from, I ran all the way from fucking, from DG all the way over there and shit. And, uh, and, uh, I might, and somehow I, I don't know how I got a hold of Kanai, but he didn't went and picked me up and shit from over there. I think I went into like a, a, a little, uh, I think I went into a auto body shop or something. I called him up and he's like, damn, what's up, Onk? I'm like, dude, what the fuck happened? He's like, dude, I got to talk to you, man. You're fucking up and shit. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? I have no fucking recollection, dude, of nothing. I don't remember. I don't even not, not know how I ended up in fucking DG. Honestly, it was weird. But yeah, man, say no to drugs. <laughs> I got, I got all fucked up, dude. And shit, I was off fucking on a mission, shit, smoking coke or something with uh, one of my partners and shit. And fucking, uh, we ran out of fucking lighters and shit. So I had fucking uh, strike anywhere matches. And I, and uh, we were coming down and shit. So we just started getting drunk, dude. And uh, <clears throat> I got arrested at MGM's in the daytime. I was standing on the corner right there at, uh, right there on Morrison Road in Wolf, I think it is. And I was sitting right there at the front, the little point right there where MGM's bar is at, right there on the corner, there's like a little point. And I remember I was standing there and I was fucked up, dude. And uh, and the cops came up to me and they were, they were talking to me and shit. And, uh, and I was just wasted, dude. And uh, they fucking, they, they threw me in the fucking paddy wagon and shit. They took me to a District 1 to the holding cell and shit. And uh, I remember I was in there and I started fucking getting cocky as fuck. And uh, I started talking shit because they didn't, they just took my shoes and shit. And they, they didn't even fucking pat search me really. And uh, they just, because I was so drunk, they just threw me in the fucking, in the, in the cell. And uh, they didn't even handcuff me to the slab like they normally do. And uh, I remember that, uh, I remember I reached in my pocket and I pulled out some of them strike anywhere matches, dude. And I was like, hey, you fuckers, you guys forgot to search me. And I fucking, I, I, I hit the ground with the, with the strike anywhere matches and got a big ass flame out of that shit and uh i don't remember the next thing i remember is uh, uh waking up in dg and shit shackled to a bed <laughs> uh 
them cops. I, I, I kind of remember one guy putting his gloves on and shit, and then fucking, and, <laughs> and another guy, some big ass black dude, and, and they, they're like, oh shit. And I'm like, uh oh. I kind of remember stepping back, and the door opened up, and then I just remember waking up, and I had a catheter, uh, I had a, I was trying to like uh, figure out how to get out of the fucking, uh, out of the, uh, uh, out of the uh, little gurney they had me in shackled to. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm pulling off these little electro things they had on me and shit. And uh, they had the little, they had the one that sticks to your finger. And then I'm like, yeah, I know if I take that one off, it's, the machine's gonna start beeping. So I'll wait till last to get that off. And like, uh, I still was shackled to the bed and I'm like, fuck man, what the fuck is this fucking thing hanging out of my fucking wiener? So <laughs> I fucking start yanking on this shit, dude. And it's not coming out, dude. <laughs> uh, that was a fucking mistake, dude. I never do that. Because, uh, man, uh, my shit burned for like a week, dude, after that. After they, they said, oh, yeah, you got a catheter in there. And it's got a bladder that fills up inside you, inside of you. So, like, you have, they have to relieve the pressure on the on the bladder so that way they can shrink it back down and slide the, slide the tube out of your penis and shit. But uh, I didn't know that. So I was trying to yank this motherfucker out and it wouldn't come out. Ha, 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 ha.